In our previous video, we showed you how to easily create biogas from animal excrement. Today, we are going to show you how to use that gas safely in stoves or traditional gas heaters. Join us and warm up this winter for free. From a fridge engine, we are going to build a special compressor to be able to refill commercial gas bottles with the gas produced in the biodigester of our previous video. You can watch our previous video in the top right here, or you can find the link in this video's description. We already have the central module of our machine ready. Let's see now how it works. With this screw, we adjust the gas inlet pressure. When a pressure of approximately 1.5 bars coming from the biodigester enters here, it would be activated. The spring would yield and close this contact, which is where we connect the refrigerator compressor. When closing this contact, the compressor would start up and pump the gas through this outlet to the gas cylinder. When the output pressure of the biodigester drops, the spring goes up again, the contact opens again, and then the compressor stops. In this way, what we get is that the engine starts and stops every time we have gas pressure in the biodigester. With this tank, we collect the moisture that comes out of the biodigester and the hydrogen sulfate, so that all the gas that we inject into the butane cylinder is a clean and odorless gas. Now we are going to finish making the connections. We are now going to mount the pressure switch and the pressure gauge to visualize the gas charge pressure of the cylinders.
The Gas Charge Regulation Unit is now assembled. Now we will break the non-return gas lock on the valve to allow the gas to enter the cylinder as well. Now with this modified valve, we can now inject the gas into the gas cylinder or tank. Thank <laughs> you. 
We already have all the parts ready to assemble the complete charger. Now we are going to our country house to refill gas cylinders or tanks with our biodigester. Before we start, we have to remember to open the gas valves so no pipe bursts due to the pressure generated by the compressor. Inside the tank, we have an already accumulated pressure of gas. That gas we are going to collect it with this compressor and compress it so that we load a gas cylinder. When we connect this intake to the biodigester, the gas will start to flow from the canister through the hose to the compressor. When this pressure cache reaches a pressure of 1.5 or 2 bars, it will start up and begin to charge the tank. When the pressure decreases because there is no gas left in the biodigester, it will stop automatically. That way, it will be starting and stopping as gas is generated in here. This is the pressure gauge of the cylinder charge pressure. When it reaches a pressure of 10 kilos, we will remove it to replace it with another one because it will be fully charged. In this tank here, we will collect the remains of moisture and hydrogen sulfide generated by the biogas, so we will have a completely clean gas loaded in the cylinder. 
As we have already had the biodigester accumulating gas pressure for several days since we made the previous video, as soon as we connect the pump, it will start up and begin to load our gas cylinder. Remember that here we have a pressure relief valve, which in case the canister reaches a pressure of 3 bar, it will start to release the excess pressure so that the canister does not burst. This is a safety measure, so we must always have the biodigester outside to avoid gas leaks indoors. Now we will connect the hose to the biogas pressure outlet and start the bottle refilling circuit. Thanks for watching. We wanted to thank to all the members that subscribed recently. Remember to become a member to access lots of exclusive advantages. Thank you.